Okay. Showdown at high noon. Part two. Out of there, partner. You the build around these parts? The name's Bronco. Bronco the Kid. I'm here by request of your mayor to track down those handsome devils that are giving you all such a headache. I'm gonna need your help to do it. Um, you look kind of familiar. Uh -huh. Well, as you know, I am pretty darn famous around these parts, or, uh, you know, all the cool stuff I do. No need to remind you what that is, as I am sure you are very familiar already. This is Time definitely that kid, Andy. I got, uh, adult job stuff to do for big people like me. In any case, what I'm gonna need from you is a super shock shield. Or tss, for sure. Which also means shield in the Giggler language. Please stop think of it as meaning that. It's got like there's a lot of layers to it. What for? To aid me in the capture of these handsome devils, of course. Do you <laughs> need to ask? Anyway, I've already gone to the trouble of having that uppity science feller design something for you to work with. So here you go. The sooner you get it done, the sooner I can go after those dashing ones. Curse them and their ravishing good looks. <laughs> a long workshop on you. Build a top person. Dashing rogues. Aha, uh -huh, this diagram. It's so much work for such a normal looking object. Did she really draw this? Oh my. Oh my. I have so much. Oh God. Why the seemingly bad thing is actually good. Following the uh, portentous temporary relocation of everyone's favorite church lady, City Hall has press was pressed to make some changes with the current security arrangement within Sandrock. The decision has been made to hire a specialist, someone to help the civil corps find the perpetrator of said portentous pilferage. However, this decision has been met with mixed responses. You know, honestly, me and Unsher are happy to get the help. Plus, a chance to work with a professional. We're not too big to admit we need an expert out here on the case. Remarked Sheriff Justice, but others were less optimistic and in some cases just confused. What happened to the actual bounty hunter? For Andy, presumably Andy, to be able to take his place. Andy was the name of that kid, I think. I mean, do we really need a specialist? I think everyone's plenty special already, said Burgess of the situation, who clearly has a deep misunderstanding of everything that is going on. Uh, specialist is just code for bounty hunter. We're bringing in one monster to deal with another. This won't end well, Zeke suggested in a foreboding manner. So we here at the Tumbleweed Standard decided to do a bit of a deep dive, a little bit of investigative journalism on the subject to put everyone's fears to rest, or perhaps to confirm them. But ideally the former. A concern many people seem to have is that this specialist might be a dangerous person, someone who might put Sandrock in harm's way at the expense of catching his target. We began by reaching out to some other specialists to see what kind of reputation he's garnered for himself. First, we got in touch with Jerry the Foot, who had this to say. Yeah, all us bounty hunters. I mean, oh yeah, you you said I should say specialists. We get cool nicknames, like me. They call me The Foot, because I always stamp out my enemies. And I kind of smell. But that's a gland problem. I can't really help that, and I don't like it when people bring it up. Unfortunate for him. Yeah, anyway, there's Joe Triggerfingers. They call him that because he'll fire a weapon at you with any one of his fingers. Yeah, he holds his iron all sorts of ways. Really surprises folk. I can't help picturing Death the Kid from Soul Eater. There's Mad Hab, the mouth. He's always talking. Django Two Hands. Well, that one don't need explaining. But uh, yeah, Bronco the Kid. We always called him that because... Uh, I mean, yeah, he's like a kid. Like, got the mental capacity of a child. He thought we were giving him a cool cowboy name, but nah, we were making fun of him. A uh, great guy, though. I do hear he catches criminals, you know, sometimes. Is he dangerous? Nah, not really. 
I don't think you folks got anything to worry about in that department. I just keep your receipts, you know what I mean? Just in case. This interview really put us at ease. Sure, it would be nice to know we were getting someone with a bit more of a reputation for actually catching criminals, but this reporter would argue that it shouldn't be at the expense of bringing a wild card into town, eh? Can we make these assessments based on just one person's opinion? Well, Jerry the Foot tapped out that whole interview in such a colloquial language over the telegraph. How could anyone with such dexterous wordsmithing abilities be wrong? Reported by Heidi. Okay. Hello, Gecko. No, I mean, fine. That's not what I wanted, though. Water. All right, those are going. What do I need to upgrade this again? A frying pan and a steel frame. How do I make a steel frame? First, I need three of these. Okay, steel frame. Steel frame. Surely we'll get there eventually. I didn't already pass it, did I? No, it's literally the very last item. That is unfortunate. Okay, I need four cast iron rods and two copper screws. Four rods, two screws. Four rods, two screws. Thank you. Oh, I need to make these. Before my commission runs out. Um, and then queue up. Water. I need more water. I need to just go buy water. How's my inventory? Is it? Oh, it's bad. It's very bad. Okay, this is the food one. Need to hold on to the mapo tofu. Wait, wait, no. I want the jerky. Um, you can take those. And here, take the crepes. Mechanical parts. Um. Oh, these aren't in here. Diamond, diamond, that's what I need to put in. Okay, this is relics. Bars and stuff. This one has dregs. Put the dregs away. Okay. Seeds. Okay. 
Okay. Monster drops. Here we go. Wait, nope, wrong thing. Inventory is looking slightly better. Okay. Now I need to buy water and talk to 80 million people, apparently. I did not set a frying pan to be made. Thank you. Frying pans use bronze, really? That sucks for me. Okay, commission. Ooh, today's Saturday. Okay, this is messed up. This is messed up. Um. Thank you, RVO sign, for being easy for once. No, this gun is always my undoing. It has three things wrong with it. Okay, this is wrong. Um... Oh, this is too long. anything wrong with it to be honest with you cat scared the crap out of me um of oh, this <laughs> okay. do you want to go out bean or are you good Oh god. Well, the last time, one of these knobs specifically was the problem. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to tell that. Oh, thank you. Okay, this, which I don't even know how that would happen, and this. Of course, now that I have the stupid magnifying glasses, it uh, does nothing for me. Hmm. Well, I'll take this. I don't know if I want to do any of these. I'll take the pumping pipes. I have three days to make them. I'll figure it out. Hold on, I have to open the door for my cat.
She lasted a lot longer in a shut room than I expected her to. But now she wished to be free. It's funny, on my bed she made like I didn't dent. Cause like the top layer of my bed is memory foam, so it's like little tiny curled up cat size. I hate to be a negative Nancy, but this bounty hunter, really? This is the guy we got to track down the scourge of the Eufaula? I want the military. These half committal measures we keep coming up with ain't gonna cut it. I need stability to grow my business already. Sheesh. Howdy. What do you want? Sunscreen. I can't make you sunscreen. Stop asking. Oh. That's not the specialist I told you to hire. Uh, well, I talked to your guy, and uh, he was too expensive. In fact, when I made him an offer, he laughed on the telegram. He wrote, ah ha 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 With that kind of offer, I doubt you could even get Bronco the Kid. ah ha 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 and so on and so forth. So I got in touch with Bronco the Kid. Doesn't sound like the loftiest of recommendations. And isn't he a bit short for a bounty hunter? Whoa, hold up there, Minister. No matter your size, just so long as you know how to rumble. Well, I don't mistake, think he knows how to rumble. I take that back. Well, we don't need him to fight, Logan. Just track him down. Right, Sheriff? Uh, yeah, that too, I guess. I'm just saying, let's give the guy a chance. I got a clue. Hmm? Um, hello, Freya. Have you met Bronco the Kid yet? He's the specialist we hired to help track Logan. If he needs your help, I reckon. Try your best to get him what he needs. Take her easy. No promises. Aww. We are making a lot of story progression today. Kind of loving it. Hey there, Bronco. Justice is my name, and justice is my game. This here's my buddy, Unsure, the deputy in training. Howdy. Uh, howdy, y'all. We just wanted to come find you and let you know, just cause we're working in different branches, don't mean we can't work together. Really, you need anything. He and looks I like he's a six-year-old. Just catch up. That sounds Oops. well, fellas. Ain't y'all kindly. You got anything for us at the present? Uh, it's all just the beginning stuff right now. I bet y'all got plenty other to do rather than my, uh, stuff. Paperwork, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Actually, we got a jump start on our paperwork a couple of days ago. Cleared out our schedule so we can aid you in tracking down that darn scoundrel, Logan, and his gang. We're with you all the way, Bronco. Oh, yeah, that fella. Well, uh... Of it is, I er. Hmm? I'm a hard boiled lone wolf detective on the edge. I'm a loose cannon. I play by my own rules, see? I can't let two good eggs like yourself get mixed up with a renegade custard like me. Uh huh. Renegade custard? Alright. Well, if you change your mind, we're mostly free these days. Glad y'all understand. Listen, it's uh. It's just better this way. Don't worry. We can all celebrate together once we catch those hunkish highwaymen. So long! Dang it! It's always like this. Especially, flying pigs, ACI, they think they're so hot just because they get a fatter paycheck. Hunkish highwaymen? Oh, hey. How you holding up? Building anything cool? Doesn't he seem weird to you? He asked me to build a field. Yeah. Not a half bad idea, I guess. If he thinks it'll help out against Logan. <sighs> Folks in the biz who don't join the Corps are all like that. They think they're better than us grunts. I think he's awesome. Come on, man. Well, I wouldn't worry too much, Builder. He might be a loose cannon that plays by his own rules, but supposedly he gets results. But he did seem a bit off. Hmm. Well, take it easy. See ya. I've got a clue. Progress, plus five. 
Oh, water. I came over here to buy water. Let me actually buy the water. Oh, you sell seeds. Nothing I want. Okay. Hello, Nemo. Oh, okay. Not Hello, Nemo. Oh my gosh! Are you Ernest? The Ernest? The famous rider? Oh, hey there. I don't know about famous, but yes, I am he. Wow! Holy smokes! My, my heart feels like it's about to jump out of my chest. Oh, uh, well, if you're not feeling well, perhaps I can meet you later? I can always make time for a fan. No, it's just my nerves. I just can't believe it's really you. Oh my gosh, in book eight, Detective Ned versus the Crab King, when I found out it was the butler all along, like, how did you even think of that? Ah, you like that, huh? Hmm, well, it's all about subverting expectations. That's just brilliant. I, I, I have my copy right here. Could you sign it for me? Sure thing. Who should I make it out to? Oh, wow. Uh, eh, bruh, uh. Well, my friend Andy is an even bigger fan than I am. So ah, I see. It, it is, in fact, you, Andy. Please? That's really considerate of you. He's very lucky to have a friend like you. I do have to be going, but thank you so much for supporting my work. Here you are, and so long. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's your major malfunction, builder? Why are you always sneaking up on people? Bro, I was just standing here. What's your major malfunction, builder? Why are you always sneaking up on people? Why did his voice line trigger when I proceeded? That's weird. Ow. Um. Fan of kids' books? They ain't kid books. It says right here on the back cover, for all ages. Duh. Maybe you'd know that if you weren't such a flippin' stalker. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Build my super shield. Ugh. What's your major malfunction, Builder? Why are you always sneaking up on people? How old are you, anyway? One of your beeswax, Rebozoid. Teach you and your dang questions. Can't you just do your job and make me my super shield? I can't. I just can't deal with you. I'm sorry. Just come find me when you got my shield. What's your major malfunction, Builder? Who's Andy? Oh, well, Andy is a friend. Yes, and a very cool one at that. And nope, before you ask, he is not a member of that Hungish Highwayman's group. There are lots of Andys out there, and at least some of them ain't bandits. Highly presumptuous, Builder. Highly presumptuous. It's one thing giving me trouble, but when you go after my friend, well, that really gets my blood boiling. Look, just get back to work on my super shield, and then we can put all this behind us, all right? What's your major malfunction, Builder? Why you won't- Yeah, I'll be going. You got my super shield. <laughs> 